Hello, my dear students. How are you today? Today, inshallah, we're gonna start chapter four for primary three lessons from uh, thirty-one to thirty-five. Let's start with polygons. What are polygons? Polygons are two-dimensional shapes. It means 2D shapes. 2D shapes we studied in grade 2. These are the shapes that are flat and has no volume. We can't open it or catch it or hold it. It's like our paper. We can just see them flat on the paper. So polygons are 2D shapes straight sides only polygons have straight sides only it means no curves in them and they are closed shapes to understand more we will take some examples here the first shape it's polygon or not is it polygon huh it's two-dimensional shape it's a straight sides only and no curves yes but it's not closed it's open so it's not polygon number two 2d shape straight sides only and closed shape so it's polygon number three is it polygon or not no it's not polygon why because it's curved it's not uh, a shape that has straight sides. Number four, is it polygon or not? No, it's not polygon because here we have a curve. So it's not polygon. Number five, yeah, it's polygon. It's 2D shape, straight sides and closed. Number six, it's not polygon because it's open shape opened shape here we have some polygons we want to count their sides and their vertices and focus well with their names the first shape is triangle triangle it has three sides and three vertices the second shape is square and square is called quadrilateral and we will see later what are quadrilaterals and it has four sides and four vertices the next one is pentagon pentagon which is a polygon and it has five sides and five vertices the next one hexagon hexagon is a polygon that has six sides and six vertices the next one heptagon 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 is a polygon that has seven sides and seven vertices the next one octagon 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 is a polygon that has eight sides and eight vertices the next one nonagon 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 is a polygon that has nine sides and nine vertices decagon 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 is a polygon that has 10 sides and 10 vertices we studied all of them in the last year except heptagon octagon nonagon and decagon now let's move to quadrilaterals quadrilaterals it's very long word and here our friend will help us to cut it 
and read it easily. Quadrilaterals. 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 What are quadrilaterals? Any shape has four sides and four vertices is called quadrilateral. Like what? Here we have square, rectangle, trapezium, parallelogram, and rhombus. Parallelogram and rhombus. Parallelogram is our new shape this year. And all of them are called quadrilaterals. It means all of them has four sides and four vertices? Yes, let's see together. Here in our square, one, two, three, four. My rectangle, one, two, three, four. And trapezium and rhombus and parallelogram. All of them have four sides and four huh, vertices. Let's see vertices together. Four in square, four in rectangle, four in trapezium, and four in rhombus, and four in parallelogram. So all of them are called quadrilaterals because it, uh, they have four sides and four vertices. So any shape, any shape has four sides and four vertices is called quadrilateral. Now let's apply to our shapes. Here we have some shapes and we want to name them. The first shape is triangle, triangle. Second one, square, square, square. The third one, rectangle, rectangle. The fourth one, trapezium, trapezium trapezium and we called it in the last year trapezoid and both of them are correct so it can be called trapezium or trapezoid the next one circle circle the next is parallelogram parallelogram and it's a new shape this year parallelogram 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 and this parallelogram has four sides and four vertices, as we said in quadrilaterals. And each two opposite sides are parallel and equal. And the next one will be cube, cube, cube. And the next is rhombus, rhombus, rhombus. And number nine, hexagon, hexagon, hexagon. Number 10, octagon, octagon, octagon. Now let's move to some categories and uh, um, title them or name them and see what in each category. The uh, first category is four vertices and, the, and it has square and rectangle. What else? Rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoid. All of them have four vertices. The next category is three vertices that has triangle, triangle. The next category is six vertices. It has hexagon, hexagon. And the next one, seven vertices. It has Heptagon, heptagon, heptagon. I know heptagon is not included here in our shapes, but we studied it in the previous slide, and I want you to use it to uh, memorize it and study it well. The next category is eight vertices, which is octagon, octagon. And the last one, no vertices. We have here circle circle now our challenge let's uh, write the attributes of each shape from these three shapes the first shape is polygon or not yeah it's polygon 
it's 2d shape and closed one and it doesn't have any curves so it's polygon that has 10 sides and 10 vertices the next one it's polygon also and it has five sides and five vertices the last one it's polygon or not no it's not polygon why because it has some curves right yeah so it's not polygon now we have here three shapes um, two are polygon and one is not polygon could any of these shapes fit into one of our categories yeah we have here our cylinder that belongs to that belongs to no vertices category now our math journal reflect on your learning in your own words explain a polygon yeah we have polygon which is 2d shape straight sides only which means no curves included and closed shapes for example we have here rectangle and square both of them are polygons and let's explain parallelogram parallelogram is 2d shape which is quadrilateral uh, it means it has four sides and four vertices we said quadrilateral means four sides and four vertices and each two opposite sides are parallel and equal now let's move to lesson 32 lesson 32 is uh, a revision on multiplication so i will leave it as a homework for you but just uh, remember we will write in the first column uh, number two as a factor so we will multiply all these factors with two and the next column we will multiply uh, these factors by uh, three and the third one we will multiply with four or by four so it's a homework for you to revise the tables lesson 32 here we have venn diagram venn diagram is a, a strategy we use to sort our shapes we will sort our shapes according to uh, some features or some attributes i will write it in the first circle here we have more than three sides only so from these shapes in the right uh, paper or in the right uh, page we will pick only uh, the shapes with more than three sides and put it put them in the first circle in the next circle we will put the shapes that have uh, each two opposite sides are parallel only the shapes with each two opposite sides are parallel I can put here in the second circle but focus with me between two circles we have here intersection area this is called intersection 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 means it's the space we will put the shapes that follow uh, the first attribute and the second it means we will put in the intersection area the, sh the shapes that have more than three sides and also opposite sides are parallel so i will put here the shapes which is common which are common between these two circles let's see together we have here some shapes the first shape is rectangle why i put it uh, in the intersection area because rectangle has more than three sides yes it has four sides so it's more than three sides also 
each two opposite sides are parallel. Each two opposite sides are parallel. So it follows the first circle and the second one. Where should I put it? I will put it in the intersection area. The second shape is square. Yes, square is more than three sides. Okay, where should I put it? Does it follow uh, each two opposite sides are parallel? Yes. In square, we have each two opposite sides are parallel. So, it follows the two circles, both of them. It follows the uh, two uh, features. So, I will put it in the intersection area. The third shape is parallelogram. Parallelogram also more than three sides and opposite sides are parallel. So I will put it in the intersection area. The th uh, fourth shape is rhombus. And rhombus is more than three sides and also each two opposite sides are parallel. So I will put them in the intersection area. And the next one, trapezium. Trapezium, more than three sides. But focus here. In trapezium, each two opposite sides are parallel? No. So I will not put it in the intersection area. It's only in the first circle. Also, don't forget these shapes. These shapes are more than three sides, but not each two opposite sides are parallel. So I will put it, I will put them up here with trapezium. Lesson 33. First, we will start with uh, a warm up about trapezium. And we studied trapezium or trapezoid in the last year. And we said trapezium is a 2D shape or polygon that uh, has four sides and four vertices. And these four sides, two are parallel and two are not parallel. And we said parallel means cannot meet. So, each trapezium has uh, two sides, two can meet, so they are not parallel, and two can't meet, never, never can meet. So, it's parallel. So, let's write the definition of trapezium. Trapezium is a quadrilateral that has four sides. Two are parallel and two are not parallel. And we said parallel means cannot meet. Here we have uh, two pages uh, filled with shapes. And we have here in the uh, page 87 uh, a graph that shows number of shapes rhombus, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezium, and square. Let's start with rhombus. How many rhombus is here? One, two, three. So we will draw a column or color the column of rhombus till three. The next shape is rectangle. How many rectangles here? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And let's color the uh, column of rectangle till five. Here, parallelogram. How many parallelograms? Only one. It's colored with green, so we will color one. Trapezium. How many trapeziums here? One, two, three. So we will uh, color the column of trapezium till three. Let's go to the last shape, which is square. How many squares here? 
one, two, three. We will color uh, square column two, three. Tell three. Now let's move to the area. The area is the space or number of squares inside the shape. Each square inside the shape is called square unit. Okay, what does it mean? I didn't understand. Let's see an example. Here in our example, we have uh, a rectangle colored with uh, blue this uh, big rectangle colored with blue it has some squares inside it if we counted these uh, squares inside this rectangle we will find them uh, 15 so the area of this rectangle is 15 so how to find the area of any shape area can be found by two ways first way counting squares inside the shape we said that this uh, blue rectangle is our shape and if we want to know the area of this rectangle we will count the squares inside it how many squares inside it 15 so we call each one square inside it unit square so all of them are 15 unit squares number two we can find the area by multiplying rows by columns if we considered that um, this rectangle is like our array so we can find the area or the total number of squares by multiplying rows and columns how many rows here three we have three rows how many columns here five we have five columns so if we multiplied three by five three is multiplied by five or three times five equals 15 15 what 15 square unit so the area is 15 square unit let's apply to our area we have lesson 34 we have here some story problems and we will read them carefully and uh, find the total area for each garden
and to draw them. First, Jana is planting squash. Each squash needs one square unit. So each one squash needs one square unit. She would like the garden to have two rows with nine square unit in each row. So we have two rows and inside each row we have nine square units. How many squash can she fit? If we want to find the total, we will multiply huh, two rows with nine squares. So two times nine equals 18 squash. Let's draw them, huh, two rows, and inside each row we have nine. So the total area is two times nine equal 18 square units. Number two, Omar wants to plant corn. Corn needs one square unit of space. So corn needs one square unit of space. He would like the garden to have three rows with seven square units in each row so three rows with seven square unit it means three times seven equals 21 let's draw them yeah we have three rows here each row contains seven square units so the total area is three times seven equals 21 square unit number three yusuf loves watermelon and he wants to plant it in his garden. Watermelon needs one square unit of space. He would like the garden to have four rows with four square units in each row. So how many watermelons can Yusuf fit in his garden? He wants four rows and inside each row four square units. So, 4 times 4 equals 16 watermelons. Let's draw it. Huh. 4 rows inside each row, 4. So, the total area is 4 times 4 equals 16 square unit. Number 4. Nadia wants to plant zucchini. Zucchini needs 1 square unit of space she would like the garden to have three rows with four square units so three times four equals 12 zucchini and we will draw it ha huh? three rows with four square units yeah like this the area will be three times four equals 12 square unit number five the last one aya wants to plant lettuce lettuce needs one square unit of space she would like the garden to have five rows with eight square units in each row how many lettuce can aya fit in her garden five rows with eight square unit it means five times eight equals 40 to draw it we will draw it in the next page here we will draw the garden which is five times four uh, times eight equals 40 square units Let's go to our challenging part. Number one, if Jana, Omar, Yusuf, Nadia, and Aya all put their gardens together, what would be the total area? The total area, how many total square units would they need? The total area can be calculated if we added all previous areas. So, if we added 18 plus 21 plus 16 plus 12, 
plus 40, all of them equal 107 square units. So this is the total area, 107 square units, and they need 107 square units for the total garden. Number two, Heba has two rectangular gardens, one for lettuce and one for squash. The squash takes up 12 square units and the lettuce takes up 10 square units. What could her garden looks like? And remember, the garden are rectangles with the same number of square units in each row draw gardens below and they must fit in the grid paper first the garden which is 12 square units will be like what here we have the total area the total number of squares so 12 will be what times what if we said we have two rows 2 times what equals 12? 2 times 6. So we will have 2 rows times 6. Each row contains a 6 like this. And the total area will be 12 square units. 6 times 2. And the next garden, the total area is 10 square units. 10 equals what? If we said we have two rows also. 2 times what equals 10? 2 times 5. So we have 10 square units like this. Our math journal. How is finding the area of garden plot similar to solving multiplication? Explain your thinking. We will say finding the area or the total number of squares in a rectangle can be calculated as an array. So the area equals rows times columns as we did before. Lesson 35. Look at the puzzle below and how many rectangles can you find how many colors or number of them let's find our rectangles the first one here in blue in blue the second in red huh. third in green here like this this is fourth baby blue or uh, light blue this is fifth which is uh, yellow and then the black one and the gray one and we have here brown one and light blue one total rectangles are nine rectangles here in uh, lesson 35 determine the area of each rectangle explain the strategy you used if we want to find the total area here we can multiply or count we can count the small squares inside this uh, first rectangle or we can multiply rows by columns how many uh, rows here one two three four five six we have six rows how many columns one, two, three. So we can say the total area equal three times six equals 18. Rectangle number two, we have here, um, as, we, as we can see, we have here eight columns and four rows. So eight times four equal 32. The third rectangle, we have seven uh, columns and ten rows, so seven times ten equals seventy. By the same way, we can find rectangle number four and number five and number six. Now let's move to the challenging. Here we have uh, a garden 
and we want uh, in this problem number one we want to find the total area I think the easiest way is to count the small squares let's count them together if we count them we will find them 30 square units and in rectangle number two if we count the small squares we will find them 21 square units thank you for watching and goodbye